Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Thanks for being with me. Everybody, of course, is here. I don't know what's coming. My guests are showing you their objects. I'm going to appraise them. It's good to see you. We've got a question of the day, too. And if your camera is not working, if your connection is not good, it's going to be, you know, no more Dr. Nice Guy. You're going to be out of here. So be ready to go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you? I'm ready. Hi, Dr. Lori. How are you? Is this Mary from somewhere in New York that I got yes. wrong last time that now is right and something like that? Is that you? I'm, I'm back again. So you're very good. lucky you're back so often. I huh? know. I know. Amazing. I got on first. This is great. Yeah. So what's going What do you mean this is great? You got on first. You don't want to wait for me? So no, all I'm, you want me for is the appraisal, would, right? I would you don't wait want you. to watch the show. You want to just do this and you're out of here. Yeah, never, never, never. What? I'm getting rid of never. this flab right here. I'm getting rid of it. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Never, never. I love you. I always watch you. No oh, matter yeah. well, I'm getting very fat again. Here we go. No, you're What's not. Up? You're beautiful. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I found this lamp. At I can't see all the lamp. Can't see all of it. Need to see it all. Lift, 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 lift. Okay. okay. So the base of that lamp, and this is where these people who are just like, oh, I want to know only this much information. I'm going to give you all this information that's going to help you. So when you see that, that brass that double brass base on the bottom of these lamps, those lamps are made between 1945 and 1965, all day, every day. So you've dated the lamp immediately just because you're watching me, okay? That's the first thing I want you to see. That lamp is pretty nice. Is there any other kind of mark on the ceramic? There are no marks on the ceramic, but when we took the bottom off, there was um, a signature, but it wasn't Capo di Monte, so I wasn't sure. No, was it on the ceramic? No, there's nothing on the ceramic. Okay. Okay. So when you said when you took the bottom off, value on how tall is that lamp? Um, I would say about maybe. You gotta have the measuring tape ready. Come on, people, let's go. You just want the lamp. Any younger here? 20, Twenty-two inches tall. That's my girl. Good girl. All right. Now, where did? How much did you pay for it? I paid twelve ninety-nine at Goodwill. All right. So you got it at the thrift store. You got it at Goodwill. Value on it about seventy-five dollars. Did you only get one? They only had the one. That Always was look it. for two. Good to see you, Mary. Oh, Thanks. No. For Thank you. Here. Thank Bye, you so honey. much. Keep watching. I will. Always. All right. <laughs> Nice to see everybody. So oh, thanks to Mary, of course, for checking in. And um, it's good to see you. I'm Dr. Lori, and this is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Oh, I forgot my question of the day because I had to tell Mary to get her measuring tape and all the rest of this stuff. But uh, it was good to see her. Here's my next guest. Hi, hey. how are you? Hey, Dr. Oh, Lori. I, I think the I think this connection is too slow. Connection is too slow. I'm sorry. So we'll go back to another one, but my, I'm gonna have my question of the day for everybody. And of course, I want you to remember to subscribe to my newsletter because there's more tips to subscribe to the newsletter, okay? There's lots of information there, selling tips, buying tips, subscribe to the newsletter at drlorev.com. All right, and I've got guests coming up galore, galore. So I guess I have to do weights, right? To get rid of this? <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Here's my next guest. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. I don't think we have a good enough, strong enough connection here. We've got a lot of blurry here today. If your connection is not strong enough and or not fast enough and we've got blurry, I want everybody who's watching to have a good experience. So I'm sorry, but you know, if it looks like UPN channel 13 from New Haven, when I was a little kid and you'd get all the snow, I can't do it. I got to be able to see the objects and I want to make sure that everybody's having an enjoyable um, time there. All of you who are writing in the comments, yay, yay, yay. I know. I, I'm grateful for all the guests, but I want to make sure that people can see. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, Dr. Lori. It's Jennifer in Pittsburgh. Hi, Jennifer. How are you? Okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Is my signal okay? You got your gloves? <laughs> got to get the gloves, kid. Got to get the gloves. You got to um, have the nail polish first, and then you got to get the gloves. <laughs> oh, I need a manicure. Yeah. Well, you got to do it yourself for a while. It's all right. You can do it. Take your, put on the reader glasses if you can't see. I kind of do, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. All right. What do you got, honey? What do you, what do you want to show me? Oh, yeah. I've got a question for you first before oh. you start. Before yeah. you start. Question of the day. You only have two TV shows, sitcoms to watch. Do you watch MASH or Cheers? Cheers. Okay. All okay. Day. Okay. Yeah. All, yeah. Right. All right. So, okay. so, uh, so the Sam story. Sam and Diane. Sam and Diane. Yeah. You're going to watch Cheers. Absolutely. All yep. Right. I like Woody. I got to say, Woody is funny. Yeah. Coach, Woody is funny. coach before Woody. Coach. Oh yeah. Coach. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. All right. So the story goes, my mom bought this in Murano in the Can't early. See it. Can't see it. There you go. All right. 
But he bought it in Murano. Sadly, story goes, I'm sorry I interrupted you. I he bought it in Murano in the early 60s, but sadly spent decades with water and flowers in it. But and, that's what it's for. Yeah, you know, but it, the cloudiness we can't get rid of. And I don't know if it's if it still retains any value. We've tried everything. Have you tried distilled water and uh, white vinegar? Not distilled. It was tap. distilled water and white vinegar. I Try knew, that. I knew you'd have a suggestion. Well, I have a suggestion. I may not. That may not be the answer. And I'm not a professional restorer. So again, okay. if you do that and you ruin something, it's on you. It's but already ruined. <laughs> I don't. I don't. No, it's not ruined. No. It's beautiful. Okay. It's beautiful. Can you hold it very, very briefly, just with a finger, a hand, little hand on the top, and then a little. There you go. Don't turn it. Yeah, I like it. All right. Um, is it 14 inches tall? I think 12. 12 inches tall. Okay. All right. So I think that's a wonder. I think that's a wonderful piece in today's market. Um, it probably was made only maybe three to five years before. If you've ever been to Murano, there's all kinds of stuff in Murano. So they make them and then they sit on the shelves for a while. I don't think that's typical 1960s Murano. I think that's basically trying to address and uh, make happy the folks who are interested in more con uh, in a more classic figure, right? A more classic style. Value on that piece today, I would say about $300. That's okay. a very nice piece of Murano. Try Ooh. that, see what happens. And if not, don't poo-poo it anyway. It's beautiful. No, it's, and there are restorers that I could look for that could possibly You help. have the Carnegie Museum right there. You have the Frick. All you have to do is get on the phone and say, can you recommend someone who's going to be able to, come on. You're in Pittsburgh, my God. You're in a beautiful, my brain. You're in a museum center, great place. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. No, no, I, I don't know why I didn't think of that. Thank you. Yeah, you can do that too. Your museums, all of you, your museums yeah. are great resources for, can you give me a recommendation? Thank you very much, Jennifer. Thank Bye. you. Um, so that's what we're looking for. As we were saying, some of you are going to get on, of course, with the with um, the live, and I'm happy to have you, but don't forget my video calls. If you're shy or if you just say, I want to talk to Dr. Lori, I want her to focus only on me, then the video calls are the way to go. And we have lots of very inexpensive ways for you to get multiple pieces evaluated that way. Check out my specials and shop page to find out more about the video calls. Anyway, so um, nice to see her. That's a nice piece. So that was a family heirloom handed down, right? That's what we're seeing. There we go. Uh, I know you can't get a word into talk. I'm so sorry, Sandra. That's the way it is. <laughs> but, you know, you love me for other reasons. Uh, I'll try to see if they can get a word in this time. So when Sandra's on, I'll make sure to be very quiet <laughs> through the whole thing. So, <laughs> yeah, the Carnegie's a great place. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. I don't know what's coming. Everything's unscripted. It's good to be with all of you. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't, of course, subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do. That's how you do it. You subscribe to the channel here on YouTube and ring the bell. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. How are you doing? Hi, I'm Rhonda. How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. I don't know if I'm going to. Oh, well, let's try it. Let's. I don't think so. <laughs> Sorry. Sometimes it looks like it's going to work and then not always. All right. Well, we'll get another guest right there. Here's my next guest. Hi, I'm Dr. Dr. Lori. How are you? I am terrific, Dr. Lori. How are you doing? I'm fine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? You look familiar to me. Yeah, I've been on a couple other times. I'm Teresa from Kentucky. Well, Teresa, you're very fortunate to be on so often. What'd you do today, Teresa? Tell me about your day. Today, I took a friend to work. I worked on some, went through a bunch of pictures. I'm uh, giving a bunch of my old photographs to my nieces and nephews. Famous. Oh, that's nice. I liked it when my uncle did that. One of my uncles did that. He gave us whole packs, me and my sisters, gave us all packs. You get this one, you get that one. It was nice to have those. Nice yeah, to exactly. have those. Make sure you get the protective solander boxes for them, photographic boxes. I suggest some on, of course, the specials and shop page on my product shopping page. And okay. I do get a small, of course, compensation for suggesting them. What have you got for me, darling? I have got... Okay, Just put it in front of your face so I can see it. There That's too go. close to the camera. Move it back. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Her. Better. There you go. Oh, that's All nice. Right. Um, got it at Goodwill. Um, I think I paid four, three or four bucks for it, and center in front of my face. Can I and see in the back? Can I see the bottom? Is there a mark? I didn't see a mark. Oh, actually, it's made in, made in uh, in India. Oh goodness gracious! Your piece dates to the 1970s to the 1980s. Is it eight inches tall? Yes. Okay. Tell me before I tell you the value, if you had the chance to watch only these two sitcoms, MASH or Cheers? 
Cheers. I had enough mash. I've watched every episode of mash. I'm ready. For okay. Second. So we did mash in, right? Value yeah. on your piece is $40. Thanks very much. Thank you. Oh, Dr. That was Lori. Fun. My <laughs> pleasure. My pleasure. Oh, well, you know, I'm talking and everyone's going, oh, she's talking. She's not talking. Well, you know, to get everything out of here, you got to go through here. So I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Dr. Lori. This is at Dr. Lori Live. A little wild today. It's it's a little wild today. The hair's a little wild too. The hair's a little wild. I try to mask. I'm not crazy about that. The hair mask. You, first of all, you got to wait. I don't like waiting, right? You got to shampoo and then wait and do this and do that. Oh, this whole thing. Uh, the bank on the table. Yeah, there's a bank here on the table. When you touch it here, you put the you know the little thing in the mouth and then you touch it. I can't get to it. So I've got my thing. I can't see. Where is it? Right here. You put the coin here, you flip it, and it goes back here with the fisherman. Uh, some of them are the real deal. Some of them are reproductions, and I can tell you the difference. All right. So um, I have guests coming up. Thanks for being with me. Here's my next guest. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, Michelle, and I'm in central Wisconsin, Stevens Point. Cent area. Central is constant. Okay. So are you now, I don't know geography. Where are you near? Well, uh, Stevens Point, which we have okay. a UW Stevens Point here. We're about, uh, about two hours north of Madison. Got it. Got it. Okay. Thank you for educating me on the geography. Well, thank <laughs> so. you for educating me because I have learned a lot watching you the past. You're months. welcome. And I appreciate all your support. You can support the channel many ways. Share the channel, watch the channel, uh, super chats and super stickers, whatever you want to do. So there you bought go. Bought a loop the other day waiting for it. To and loops help too. <laughs> and a lot of you bought t-shirts. I'm glad to hear that. The Dr. Lori says t-shirts are helping out too. So great. Thanks for supporting my staff. That's what the chan the channel. Anyway, uh, check question of the day, mash or cheers. If you only have one show, only have two choices. Uh Oh, mash or cheers. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Cheers is winning. And then what's this object? Let's see. Where'd you get it? So I was at a flea market last week and a lady had a sign up. She just got it, she said, and it was $8 firm. I didn't oh, $8 know firm. Was. She's rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't know what it was until I got home and started searching you and I found you talking to a lady with a red one. That's right. That's so you I got the green one. That it was Morocco. Yep. That's right. That's right. I so can't find very nice. Anywhere. Well, the green one is there too. There's blue. There's all the colors of the rainbow. I have not seen a lot of um, the, the. I like the ones that have very, very specific, you can easily identify the millefiore. Yours is a little bit sort of pulled. I still like it. It's nice. And that has to go with where you get, start to drill down into what's really good quality. Okay. So yours is of average quality for $8 firm, which cracks me up. You have an idea of how much it's worth. What do you think it's worth? Well, you told the lady with the red one that she was about 210, but I don't know when that video was from. Yeah, yours is probably worth about $200. Yours is probably worth about $200. Hey, tell me about your ceiling. Your ceiling um, is all what? Where are you? We have a log home. Oh, how cool. <laughs> I think that's so cool. Look, there's a fish too. I want a log home. Well, <laughs> I got to move to central Wisconsin. <laughs> you can buy one. We'll sell you ours. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess Thank that's the way to get a new house. Home. <laughs> that's a way to get a new house. Oh God, funny. Nice to see you. Thanks so much. Thank what you fun, so much. what fun. So she got it, $8 firm. There you go. Uh, I have a question, right? You have a question. Thank you for the super chat. Is it okay to repair, replace rhinestones or vintage costume jewelry for resale or is that cheating? I don't think anything's cheating. I don't think you're trying to do anything underhanded. I think it's always a good idea for you to note that the piece has been repaired. So the way it's done is I repaired it. I'm going to tell the potential buyer I repaired it. It had a professional repair. You know, that's the case. So anyway, yeah, I want a log home. I like the fish, the whole thing. I was like looking up at the ceiling. So I hope that's helpful. But I think if you're honest all the time, it's going to be helpful. Now, I get in trouble for being honest. Now, people don't always like to hear what I have to honestly say. But a lot of people appreciate it, too. And those are the people I'm talking to. I'm Dr. Lori. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm doing good. How are you? What's your name, hon? Uh, my name is Dana. Hi, Dana. Where are you calling from? Uh, I'm calling from Camino Island, kind of by Pilchuck, the famous Phil Pilchuck. So. Okay. So what have you got? I have this necklace. 
That's nice. Uh, That's an interesting way to do it. The clipboard with the construction paper. <laughs> do you have kids? I guess you have kids. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. Usually construction papers around mothers or grandmothers, right? Because they're doing right, projects. Right. So how did you acquire this piece? Um, I got it at the thrift store quite a few years ago. And my best friend is Inuit. And she said she thought it was a wal uh, walrus and baleen. Can you put it closer to the um, to the camera? Baleen and walrus and ivory, all different in terms of how to actually identify it. Just take your time and don't move too much. There you go. Perfect. So can you ever, I can see it beautifully. I will say that I do think that it is an amount, uh, a combination of those. Okay. okay. It's a combination of those. Um, I would say, does it fit? Does it hold around here? I'm sorry. Now you're. Um, let's show. I'm around here at my at my bust. It's around, about 18 the, inches. 18 inches. Okay. So around yeah. here. That's probably 20 inches. You know. And I've got this big rash on my neck too. I don't know what's falling apart over here. Anyway. So first of all, if she's in new it, do you? So you. I would say that this particular piece probably dates to the early 20th century. I don't think it's a 19th century piece. Um, okay. which is what we typically see with these kinds of pieces. I think the pieces used probably yeah. during rites ceremonies, that's R-I-T-E-S ceremonies, initiation rites or other kinds of passages of age, yeah. probably worn by maybe shaman or maybe um, tribal chieftains, that kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. I would say value on your piece in today's market is probably going to be in the $500 to $700 range. Do you remember what you might have paid for it? A uh, dollar ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, a dollar ninety nine is great. Is great based on actual now, can sales. Can you legally sell this? That's can you a legally retail sell value. It? Now, remember, certain things that are Native American or from First Peoples, of course, may have to be repatriated. So you have to look into what are the legalities of selling all these different types of things. That includes baleen. That includes feathers too. People forget about headdresses and feathers mm -hmm. of the Native Americans as well as ivory or walrus. So, okay, so you take a look into that. There's lots of places that you can find more information, including I talk about ivory on the channel as well as on the website. And there's a lot of information at drlaurieV.com. So before you go off and try to resell it, I want you to check that out, my blog. And um, also, I like uh, information from, of course, the government, the Fish and Wildlife Service will give you information, too, about ivory and such. Congratulations. Good for you. Oh, before Thank we you. go, mash or cheers? Which do you choose? Oh, it's a hard one, but I laugh more at cheers, probably. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, Thank you. I like Christy, I like Christy Alley because she's, she's just, she's a lot of fun, too. Uh, but I love mash. I thought Loretta Swit was great. I thought she was great. Uh, anyway, thinking about sitcoms today. My next guest. Hi. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. Hi, Dr. Lori. How Hi. are you? I'm good. Actually, it's storming. You just started storming right when your show came on, so I had to come just back in the house. Storming, where are you? In Missouri. Okay, well, be careful. I need you to put this object in front of your face, I'm afraid. Can you do that for me? What's your yep. first name? Sharon. And can you put your phone horizontal? Is that possible, Sharon? Yes. Poor girl, she's in a storm and I'm asking her to change things. Oh, Sharon, you're gonna have to send me a picture of that and then I can help you because we haven't got horizontal. Yeah, the poor thing. Go in, go in, go down the basement or something. It's storming anyway. I will look at it, send me a picture. All of you can do that. You can send me a picture at drlaurieb.com. Sharon, I apologize, but it was, it was a lot going on there and I don't wanna have a problem for you. So you take care of yourself with the storm and I'll make sure that uh, we see that. My next guest. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How you doing? Can't hear you. No audio. <laughs> yes. Not, not Hi. Audio. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? What are you I'm, doing? Andrea. I'm doing well. How are you doing? It's nice to see you. Yes. So where are you calling from? You've been on before. I can't remember your name. Wait. Yes. Andrea from Andrea, Bruno, I'm sorry. Texas. <laughs> <laughs> and that kind of Sunday, Andrea. Oh, my goodness. My it's goodness. Okay. okay. It's okay. So tell me what happened. I ran over a snake today when I was doing my walk. A snake. You did? <laughs> I felt bad because, you know, Ew. that snake is not feeling good. I stepped on him. He's not feeling good. He's bad. <laughs> I felt bad. I did feel bad. He was able to slither away, but he's broken inside. He's got some problems. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to you, sweetie. Where are you calling from? Texas? Reino? Texas, yes. Texas. Okay, nice to see you. Nice right. to see you too. So tell me, if you had two, only two sitcoms to watch, do you watch Cheers or MASH? Actually, I don't know them. You don't I'm know from them, Brazil, right? So what? And, and we didn't have there. 
and and then I don't have TV here. <laughs> so what was your favorite? What was your favorite at home? Um, we we didn't have them there at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know. But so what did did you have that you liked? Bo, Edu when I was <laughs> educate us. Oh, uh, let me try to remember what I had. I had Beverly Hills something, but it was <laughs> Beverly Hill Billies. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was That's kid. good too. Yeah. That's good too. Oh, you're a sweetheart. Okay, go ahead. Show me your object. That was so fun. I got uh, on a state sale with other things that I got. I got even, I was going to write to you a David Williams sketch, and I got this um, John Edwin Jackson. Isn't Very nice. Thing? Oh my yeah. gosh, I'm trying to well, You're doing fine. You're doing fine. Yep. John Edwin Jackson, very well known. That's a nice piece. That's a hand-colored lithograph. That piece, of course, 20th century value on that, about $250 in the frame. How much did you pay? I paid actually, I think about $40. And where? Uh, on a state sale. All right, good, yeah, good. Always negotiate. I, good yeah, to see no, you. Actually, I negotiated because I got this and uh, David Williams, uh, the Native American uh, okay. sketch. Yes. I, I need to see with you later about that. And um, I was going to text you. I also a photograph. That is, so you negotiated. Like the way you negotiated was by putting more things together for the, the $40. Yeah. So I got everything for $50. Excellent. Good for you. Thanks. Nice to see you. Check yeah. out the blog. There's more selling <laughs> tips there. Thank you. Bye, sweetheart. Bye. Oh, that was fun. I don't have those. I don't have TV. A lot of people don't. A lot of people have their computers and have their devices and their phones. And they don't need anything else. How do these people get online multiple times and get free appraisals? Geesh, what luck. I'm jelly. You're jelly. I guess that means jealous. Well, it's a little bit of luck, but it's also a little bit of perseverance. You know what? So again, uh, you've got to get on there and do it. It's all explained very simply, and I do it regularly. So I don't know. I don't think you should be complaining, but okay. I understand a little bit of trepidation. That's understandable. I hope you get on. Keep trying. Hi, it's Dr. Lori. How are you? Hi, how are you? Good. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Amra, and I'm from Spokane, Washington. Hi. Hi, Amra. What I mainly like to see, I was just talking about, you know, how you get on. I love to see the Dr. Lori says video, the Dr. Lori says t-shirts on folks who are, of course, here. So yeah. it's nice to see those to show me that you're supporting the channel. So Amra, tell me a little bit about this object. Um, I got it at the thrift store for, yep. um, ten, excuse me, $10. All, all the way up. Show me the bottom because the bottom's important. Yep. So this is a shell casing. Yeah. Yep. I so, thought it was a vase at first and then oh. i flipped it over and saw that it was a shell casing and thought how unique it was well it's not unique really at all <laughs> and people go what do you mean it's not it's not a lot a lot of people actually did this with shell casing so shell casings from world war one and world war ii actually and you'll see them uh well uh, any of the wars actually but basically you see these shell casings then they'll be hammered out with decorations i've seen all different ones now it might be rare to you because of course you're not seeing fifty thousand objects a year like i am but right. yeah it's a wonderful thing and you are absolutely right that it's a shell casing um the piece of course dates to the middle part of the 20th century and it's in nice condition and it is used as a vase oftentimes two of them as a vase, <laughs> actually, yeah. So they make two. Um, how much did you pay for yours? Did you get yours at a thrift store or an estate sale? I got it at a thrift store for $10. Okay, okay. And value on it is just about $75. And they're nice. You did pretty well at $10. And if you'll answer my question of the day, which is which would do you watch if you only have these two to watch, is it MASH or Cheers? Ooh, Cheers. Okay. Cheers is winning big. All right. Nice to see you from Spokane. Thank you. Spokane. Yeah. My pleasure. My pleasure. I'm Dr. Lori. It's good to be with all of you. This is Ask Dr. Lori Live, where I appraise your objects and give you some tips about what's what. With hand hammered pieces like that piece, um, whether it's brass or other types of ha hand hammered pieces, um, you'll actually see, again, the way in which the, the pieces are actually individually hammered. You can see that best from the inside. So there you go. Thank you very much for the notes of appreciation. I appreciate all of you too. So thank you for sharing the channel. Thank you for Super Chat, Super Stickers, which support the channel and for watching the channel and sharing the channel. That's what I'm happy about. So I appreciate all of that from all of you in whatever in whatever denomination, whatever amount you want to make is fine with me. Dr. Williams, next guest. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. I'm surprised. I'm, surprised. <laughs> I'm so surprised. My name is Diane. I'm from Tucson, Arizona. 
Can I see your object, Diane? I got this painting. She's got it in front of you. In front of you, Diane. There you go. All the way up. Reach toward the ceiling with it. There you go. Right there. Nice. Nice beach scene, landscape, impressionist style, probably made in the United States sometime between 1960 and 1980. Um, did you buy it at a thrift store? I did. How much did you pay? $3.99. $3.99. It's worth $150. Thank you, Diane. I like that. Oh, thank you. Diane. Yeah, nice. I like that one. That's a nice piece. That was good for $3.99. There's lots of bargains out there. Oh, I'm hearing all these things. Oh, the thrift stores are learning. You're telling them that they should reprice things higher and all this. Come on. You guys are watching all kinds of stuff. You guys are finding all kinds of stuff. You have to know what to look for. I'm teaching you what to look for. I talked on a video call to a gentleman who's probably watching right now, Jonathan. And he, what did he say to me? He said to me, Dr. Lori, I made money because I got the appraisal from you. I got the appraisal from you. I bought the, the painting for a little bit of money and I sold it based on your appraisal. Boom. It's happening all the time. He said, I'm making hundreds of dollars more each month to support my family because of this channel. And you can too. I want you to succeed. So stay here, watch, and I'm going to teach you how. I love seeing the guests. Thank you so much for being my guest. It's great to see all of you. I'm stay Dr. Stay here, Lori. watch, and I'm going to teach you Lori how. Live. Hi, I love Lori. seeing the guests. Thank you so much for being my guest. Gotta turn me on, Great baby. To see all of you. I'm stay Dr. here, watch, and I'm do you know that you're with me? Yes, thank you so much for being my Hello? Nope. She doesn't know. She doesn't realize that I'm with her. I'm sorry. That's a shame. So she had a lot of things going on. And maybe paying attention to the show might be helpful. So then when I get to you, you know, you can be ready. Okay, ready. Hi, I'm Dr. Lori. What's oh, happening? 20, um, I'm from Tacoma, Washington. Hi. This is number one for me. Cheers um, is number one for you. Thank you for watching and answering the question of the day. Do you have something you. for me? Yes. Um, I got this picture. What's your first name, hon? Oh, that's oh, no. bad. That's, oh, that's not bad. good. That sounds um, bad. Sherry. Sherry. No, it's okay. I'm Sherry, actually let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah. Don't hurt yourself. What are you trying to do? Uh, I Well, I do artist work and stuff too, but I'm putting up a wood flooring in. Um, I got this picture, um, 26 by 33. 26 by 33. Yeah. yeah. And it's got like a wood frame. And it's got like square nails down here. Like, wait. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Okay. So the frame is trying to look older. That's very typical of the 1970s. Is the piece dated? Those frames are very typical of the 1970s. And I'll comment about signatures in a moment. <laughs> Um, but basically what you're looking at here, um, it looks like it is an original drawing. It does not look like it is a lithograph with hand coloring. It looks like it's an original drawing. So is it signed? Oh, did I lose her? Um, and it, she's it, gone. Oh, what? I'm gone? I'm signature? Gone? Is there a signature, it's Sherry? It's on the outside of the glass. It's weird. The signature it's is on the outside of the glass. It, it just says, oh, God, where's the, I got a new phone. I can't figure the dog's thing Yeah, out. well, you're not helping. <laughs> <laughs> Matata. Oh, right. Okay. All right. Yeah. I would say and I'm going to give you, I'm going to give you a value range between 200 and 250 dollars for it. The frame dates of the 1970s. Signatures. You're all concerned about signatures, but as an expert with two, three decades doing this, the signatures do not tell the whole story. It's only a part of the story. The signature on that piece is not the original signature of the person who actually painted it. Why do I know that? Because that piece is a typical piece of what's called, of course, art factory pieces. Basically, it's like an it's like a factory of artists making those pieces to look good to sell them in the starving artist sales. That's how I know the value. That's why the signature doesn't have as much impact. And on some paintings, there are, it's not even intended for an artist to sign the pieces. So don't think just because the signature is not that, don't think the signature is that big a deal. If you watch the channel, I explain that a lot when I'm talking about paintings and knowing this kind of information and knowing the information about what you can tell from the back as well as from the brush strokes of the pieces will help you to identify pieces and will help you with the value. So, and it's not a price. My pieces, my values are not prices. They are retail values based on sales records where similar pieces have sold. I just want to get it straight because there's a lot of other people out there who are trying to do what I've done. So I want to get it straight. But thank you for your question. I appreciate it. Hi, Dr. Lori. How are you? I'm well, Dr. Lori. Hi, it's nice to meet you finally. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name is Brendan. 
Nice to meet you, Brendan. Where are you in the world? I We are in Beverly Hills, California. That's nice. I like the contrast of the navy blue and the white on the walls. Thank you so much. Very it's beautiful. Nice. Thank you. Navy is my favorite color. Yeah, it's beautiful. I like it. Well, I went to Michigan, so go blue. <laughs> there you go. Go blue. Anyway, so tell me how are things in Beverly Hills? Things are nice. It's beautiful. It's like 75 degrees today. That's nice. That's great. Okay. So if you had two sitcoms to watch, only two, and you had to choose one, is it MASH or is it Cheers? Ooh, I love them Sorry. both, but I think Cheers. Okay. A lot of people are choosing Cheers. Back to you. I'd like to look at your object and if you let me appraise it. So I found this at an estate sale and I can't figure anything out about it. I know it's old. I think it dates back from maybe the late 1800s, early 1900s. Based I would agree with that. The way she's dressed. Um, well, I, that's one of the ways you can tell. I also like the handling of the, pe handling of the pigment. I like the composition. I like the way in which you have a full figure in a small amount of space. Uh, the the frame I like a lot, but the frame is not the only thing I like. I like the the painting a lot. May you could you please put it put it closer to the camera for me, hon? Don't worry so much about reflections. And now, if you'll just tilt it, keep tilting, and backwards if you would. Stop. Thank you. Very nice. Can I see the back, or does the back have a dust screen, a piece of paper? Oh no, the back is. It's really cool. It's got perfect. Like, is it signed at all? It is not signed. Okay, let's go to the back. Can you show me the back a minute? Because there's a, so much information in the back. I just want to teach everybody for a quick a quick second. So bear with me. Sure. First of all, darkened where the mitered corner comes together. You all know it's American. If you don't know it's American, you should have because you're not watching the channel long enough. But basically, American mitered. The darkness around the miter at upper left and lower right indicates that that piece, of course, has also been oiled. And when a piece has been oiled, that means that they're trying to keep the canvas taut, usually indicates that there's been some kind of restoration or some kind of restretching at some point. I think the piece dates between 1875 and 1895. I don't think it comes into the early 20th century. It looks like it's painted through the tradition of the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts. People like Daniel Garber and earlier than him, of course, Thomas Aikens and others. I think that painting is easily going to start somewhere in the three to five thousand dollar range, and I'd add another thousand, and I'd another seven hundred and fifty dollars for the frame. Wow, very nice. What'd you I pay? Sixty-five dollars. <laughs> it's because nobody knows what they're doing. <laughs> Good was, for you. That, they wanted one ninety-four, and I negotiated them down to sixty-five. It's a beautiful piece. It's very typical of the realistic style, which happens after 1865 and into the 1870s, um, especially with folks who are trying to be very, very specific. You know, we see this style as we get into um, the realist style um, in the early years of the 20th century with the New York artists, people like Henry and Sloan and others. But that's a very nice piece in the tradition or manner of Aikens. I like it. 65 bucks, you cannot lose. Uh, one piece of the composition matter with the gilt of the frame is worth 65 bucks. One corner of that frame is 65 bucks. Good for you. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Dr. Laurie. I appreciate it's gonna, it. You're welcome. It's going to look good on the navy blue walls. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a lovely day. You too, darling. Thanks so much for being with me. It's good to see all of you. I love you all. Keep watching, keep sharing, and I'll see you next time.